What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In today's video, we are jumping into the Ultimate Black Panther, issue number two. Jumping us into the Ultimate Universe created by Jonathan Hickman. We have seen the Maker really recreating the Ultimate Universe, but he is doing so in his image. He has created the Maker's Council. This council oversees the entire world, representatives from every continent, and among them are Ra and Khonshu collectively together known as Moon Knight. They oversee Africa, everything but the Kingdom of Wakanda. But with Moon Knight starting war across Africa, Wakanda is now considering intervening. Watching all the people suffer, the country is becoming divided on whether they should help or stay hidden. But that decision was quickly made for them when T'Challa's father was assassinated. The assassin coming from Moon Knight. So, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel Make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we jump into this issue, we pick up with Okai and we pick up with T'Challa. They are discussing the current state of Wakanda. Right now, everyone is scared of their king. They are searching each other for the enemies, putting their own people behind bars, conducting interrogations. But he knows that the enemies are out there, the servants of Moon Knight. He believes that he is doing the right thing to protect his people, as she tells T'Challa that his burden is great, but he must honor his father. To protect the people, to protect the nation, to be their king, Right now, more than ever, he is what Wakanda needs. With him getting dressed and heading out, we pick up at the Temple of the Vodou Khan, and the Sisterhood has received a vision, letting him know that a woman of light is going to come to him, that your fates will be intertwined, a bond made of war, and this woman of light will bear him a child, will give him an heir, the one that Wakanda has been waiting for, for generations. And he immediately assumes that this, this woman of light, this is his wife. She is what grounds him. She is his sanity. Outside the perimeter of Wakanda, we see a battle going on. The Dora Milaje battling against the forces of Moon Knight. With the battle ongoing, we see the Black Panther throne. The war machine coming in here and decimating the ranks. With it landing, we see T'Challa aka Black Panther walking out. As we pick up with Khonshu and Ra, they are currently speaking with the individual that they have in inside Wakanda, the one that let the assassin in, which led to the king's death. And we learn that their plans are to storm all of it, storm Wakanda, to storm T'Challa himself, and take their sovereign nation, to take it all away from them. Whoever this person is, they want Wakanda to fall. Hopping over to the war room in Wakanda, T'Challa believes that Moon Knight want the Vibranium. Every village that they have taken so far is close to a mine. They're not taking prisoners, they're not taking hostages. They are seeking resources. And the only way that they would know about these mines is if someone told them. T'Challa now knows that there is a spy in their midst. Though he may not know who it is yet, he is determined to discover who this traitor is. And T'Challa now gets some information that they know where Khonshu and Ra may be. An opportunity to cut the heads off of the snake. And so he will go in alone. He will go in as Black Panther, in communication with Shuri the entire time, or so he thinks. As he makes his way through the air, this is where he gets shot down. His aircraft crashing down, and he gets ambushed. An entire team of gunmen begin firing at Black Panther, and we see him begin to fall. As he drops down to the ground, this is when the dark clouds begin to hang over his head. The thunder booms. And we see the lightning crash down with a fury, zapping all of Moon Knight's men. When T'Challa looks up, what he sees is the woman made of light. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So far, I am thoroughly enjoying Ultimate Black Panther. I love that the fate of, of T'Challa and Storm are intertwined. That no matter the universe, no matter the timeline, no matter where they are, these two are magnetic. They are drawn to each other. 
even if they go through spurts where they're not together, they don't meet up for years, whatever the case may be, there is something about these two that always want to come back together. Obviously, this is going to cause some complications if Storm is in fact the Woman of Light, if she is destined to give him the air that he needs, that Wakanda needs. This means that his relationship more than likely is going to fall apart with his current wife, and from what we see, Storm is with Warmonger. And so we can assume that there's going to be more than likely a lot of drama that comes along with that. Possibly the death of some individuals, they are about to go to war with the Moon Gods, with Khonshu and Ra. But even in this situation, this is small scale. We're talking about a singular continent. We know that Iron Man has much bigger plans. He needs to reform the Avengers, and so it is only a matter of time before we see him showing up, before we see Tony coming to recruit T'Challa. Because while Moon Knight may be a threat, the Maker's Council definitely a threat, and it will be only a matter of time before we see the Maker emerge. And when he does emerge, they have to be ready. They have to be prepared, because if the Maker comes out and they are not ready, everything that they are fighting for would be for naught. It would be in vain, and the Maker remaking the Ultimate Universe in his image would be then set in stone. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you want to get caught up on everything that is going on in the Ultimate Universe, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.